Hey, what's up, guys? This is Steve. Hope you guys will enjoy this one. This is World Man Logan issue number one. This is a Sacred Force tie-in. But before that, thanks for all of your support. And today, uh, you may feel some awkward moments because my uh, I am having a little bit of <coughs> cough and cold. That's why. So anyway, hope you guys will enjoy this one. This is World Man Logan issue number one review. Here we go with this review from. Word of the Nerd Online.com. This review is quite a pretty much great. And first of all, he has given this review a rating. This this is by Sean Mills, and this is a rating for writing is nine out of ten. Art is artwork is ten out of ten, and enjoyment that is really cool. That is nine out of ten. So summary from what we get from uh, this comic book, what we get is here bandies and. Sorrentino bring us back to this classic gritty world in one of the best Sacred Wars tie-ins yet. So 9.4 it's all over the story outlining rating. So Old Man Logan tells the story of Wolverine several decades into the future in a United States that has been taken over by the Red Skull where all of the superheroes are simply spectacles from the past in various clever little ways. The new US is populated by superhero artifacts, there's the massive skeleton of giant man lying in the midwest and a small town called Hammerfall was built up around the spot where Thor's hammer fell during his final battle. Miller and McNiven clearly had a lot of fun populating their new world with easter eggs when they wrote the first story in the original Wolverine was retired and living with a nice family haunted by the mistakes of his past. All of the supervillains in the world had teamed up to take down the heroes and they mind controlled Wolverine into killing all of the X Man. He hadn't popped his claws since, but when a spot of trouble started brewing in the original, he set out on a cross country adventure to slay the Red Skull. The original ended with Wolverine's family being killed by the Hulk gang, so Wolverine killed them all, including Big Bad Bruce himself, and adopted the last surviving little baby Hulk. The new old man Logan picks up some time after the original left off. Logan is still old and a noble tired at what the world has become but now he is willing to poop his claws and pop his claws and right some wrongs like taking out a local gang leader and his thugs but he is disheartened to see that the townspeople have no idea how to be free and probably prefer the gang leader when the whole, when the the head of an Ultron comes crashing down outside his home Logan sets off on a new cross country trek to find out where it came from and what it means we visit a me we visit few more locals and see a few familiar faces only for Logan to decide that the head likely came from one of the different districts in that world so maybe he's going to have to cross the borders to find out the truth considering Wolverine has been largely missing since the fall. Wolverine Logan issue number one is a great way to bring him back. The book is pure Logan distilled down to his very essence as a noble warrior fighting against a world that doesn't make any sense. So it just happened on that way but we have to think about this one is he's Logan at his most Clint Eastwood all of growth and will trade confidence at least when he's not tearing into some assholes. Ben skips the dialogue spurs as the art keeping the same somber mood throughout even when he introduces the weirder elements of Secret Wars which wouldn't normally have any place in old man Logan Ben skips it all the same steady and brightly calm that is super cool and this is really enjoyable and the ending moments of the story is really cool where we get to see a t-rex kind of illustration of in there and this is just happening he is trying to go out of the wall and like i said sorrentino's art is perfect the story mcniven is a legend in the industry and way he and miller populated the original old man logan it's probably for the best that he was around back then but now that the world is firmly established bringing sorrentino into focus more on mood and character than spectacle 
is the right thing so hope you guys have enjoyed this phone this is a good read and i think most of you guys already bought this book but those of you who didn't bought it yet just go to the store and buy this book this is a good read and enjoyable and worth of your money that's why your 3.9 box is not going to hell it's gonna really be enjoyable so have a great weekend guys and with Wallman logan issue number one review i hope you guys have enjoyed it and thanks for all of your support again so don't forget to leave a like have a great day adios